Here's something that quite a few framing contractors and construction workers know, but you might not, and that is that we need to leave gaps between our plywood, especially on shear walls. The arrow here is pointing to a joint that is in between two pieces of plywood. Wherever you have two pieces of plywood meeting or butting up against each other, there's a good chance that you're going to need to leave a gap, a minimum of one-eighth of an inch. This gap provides you with a little bit of protection in case the plywood ever got moist and expanded. I've actually seen these gaps um, disappear when there was a lot of moisture in the air, high humidity. So now it would be worse, of course, if it got wet somehow, if it, got rain, if, if it rained and got the plywood wet, you could have a problem. Um, check with your building blueprints or plans. They should have something on them mentioning the minimum width of the gap. So again, your building blueprint should have all the information that you need on them. If not, check with your um, structural engineer. So again, that's a good idea even if you don't have um, you're building something out in your backyard, something like that. Always leave a gap just in case this stuff ever gets wet and decides to expand.